guys, what is up? It is Noah here and welcome back again to the abandoned decaying time capsule home in the forest. Uh, you guys asked for it tons in the comments when I uh, first uploaded this video so we are back here today and I think I do have a little bit more information about this house to be able to give you this time. It's not tons but at least it's something. So guys, the information I have for you on this house is actually from the last time I posted this video. There was an, a lady in the comments on Facebook that was actually a previous owner of this exact home. She told me that, or she told the comments, let's just say that, that she purchased the home in 84 from an Asian couple. She doesn't know when the house was built, but uh, she owned the home from 1984 to 1989. Um, and the only reason that they left was because I guess one of her family members or somebody needed a more accessible house. Seeing as this place is way back in the bush, this house is definitely not accessible. They were forced to sell it. And she said that they sold the home then to a nice Italian family. Past that, that's basically the information I got. Um, I've heard from other not really reputable sources that the person here the last owned it went to prison and was locked up and they're never getting out. I've heard our witness protection program, CIA hideout, but realistically, somebody was probably just old and passed away and now the home is sitting like this rotting. Uh, we do know that the last sticker date for the car is 2002, so maybe around then, which puts it at about almost 20 years. So, this is the new information I have about this place. Not really tons to uh, add to it. There's still a crazy mystery of why this house is so bad and so rough and sitting like this, but it's been about a year and a half, two years. We're gonna go check out and see if anything's changed. So come along with me and let's see what we can find. So just like the first time I came here, that driveway is just absolutely terrible. It's very, very difficult to um, walk up. But, Unsurprisingly, the house is still here. Definitely looks worse for wear. The cars specifically. I know a lot of people have figured out the location of this place since I've come. Um, obviously I wasn't the first person to come here, but somehow they figured out where it was in the woods. The cars still here. Looks like some parts might have been stripped off. The back glass, I believe, was smashed out. I don't believe it was messed up like that last time. I think it had windows too, the car. It's in terrible shape now. Everything, molding, everything like that. So this car has been here since 95. That's what the uh, plate tag says. But the LeSabre over here has been here since February 02, at least. So, very odd, for sure. can't blame all this damage, obviously, to other people coming here. It's very possible that trees and other items like that have smashed up these cars over time. The van's got an even older plate. Doesn't even have a sticker tag on it. It's one of the older plates.
Another thing that the, uh, one of the previous owners mentioned about this house is that these doors were not the original to the home. They uh, actually changed out the doors. Apparently they were more, much more ornate than this. And uh, yeah, these, they painted them green, I guess, at the time too. But it's interesting to note. 96? 98. This car has been sitting here longer than I, almost as long as I've been alive, probably. <laughs> We're actually gonna walk around the rest of the house though, guys. Joined by Brad today on this hey everyone. revisit. In case you see him sneaking in the background. Oh yeah, there's holes everywhere. Looks like animals like eating their way up there. Uh very possible. Such an ominous little house just in the woods though. I've never seen anything quite like this. So, this house is very intriguing to me. Got a feeling though we're gonna go through this house. We're just gonna have more questions than what we started with. And the garage is packed full of drill presses and tools and such like that. That's odd. It's like the front of the casino games. Interesting. Garage is equally as destroyed. Oh yeah, the power's been cut here probably for like 15 years. It's just insane that houses like this get left behind with really no explanation. It's just an entire life. They just just leave, and that's it. That's what we're left with. How long does a gas can have to sit outside for it to go from red to white? That's what I thought. What's most shocking to me is that that wall still hasn't fallen down. <laughs> I'd say. One thing I never checked out on my first visit is that there's actually a pool here. Got the tractor just buried in the bush. a deep pool. It's very deep.
tree growing in the pool. Yeah, there is. <laughs> Old barbecue right here. It's actually not a terrible idea to have a uh, glass in front of it like that so you can see what's happening. That's a side entrance which we're not going to go to. Okay guys, so it's just going to be easier for us to go through the back door here. It's going to be a lot safer than the front I think. I say safer, but I mean like the entire wall. Like last time, it's still just <laughs> hanging on for dear life. Well, I'm surprised, it really hasn't changed in here. That's so weird. Now guys, if you remember this house, uh, right away you'll remember how dangerous this stair set was. Obviously, for the person that was living here, uh, accessibility, they basically couldn't get through the, pass the uh, front door. That's essentially probably the main reason that they left. Um, the house itself actually surprisingly looks like it's in the same shape. Um, which is mind-blowing that it hasn't been tagged up or anything in the last two years. So, should be really cool to see it still in the same exact state. Sure, stuff's been moved around, but doesn't look like there's really any new graffiti, nothing like that. So I'm excited to show you guys. Now, we will start with this front door again, just for uh, continuity, I guess. Can't even get in there. It just amazes me, though, that these coats are still exactly where they were two years ago. The only thing that's really different is how much decay there is. Staircase still looks like it's a death trap. Don't believe I ever went over here last time. Still got that beautiful detailed door. That's probably from the original owners. I'm assuming that's what the front door maybe looked like. Ooh. This is really soft. Yes, it is. Up to the raised living room. Now this house is probably one of my favorites I've ever explored. So it's very cool being back here. I, I would have thought that this wall here would have fallen over. Even down to the beer bottle still on this couch. Even a Knob Hill Farms basket. There's a VHS there, the movie Speed. <laughs>
This is a statement of an account from 1996 from a contracting company. Home Improvements. This might have been that business that they were running out of that van. That lampshade seen better days. Dyna color. Just unreal. Now I do remember in this video that everybody was extremely shocked that the china cabinet was still in very good shape. And believe it or not, the china cabinet is still the exact same. Apparently this blue china here is worth a fairly decent amount of money too. But explorers seem to have been respectful and left everything here. This just tells you that people really haven't been through this house much since we've been here. And anybody that has, has been generally a trustworthy explorer. On the ground here we got calendar from 1998. There also is one from 2000 sitting somewhere. Plastic chandelier stuff hanging out. Looks like they got audited. This definitely was in this house. Picture of their dog. That's oh yeah. Didn't even notice it. They had some liquor right here from 98. I think my assumption has always been that this house was from the 2000s on being abandoned. Popular mechanics in the 2000s here. They had tons of credit cards. Sears. Now at this point in the Explorer, I'm starting to think to myself, okay, maybe this family didn't pass away. There's several credit cards still left here in the same name for the same person. There's a bunch of different unpaid bills for the same person as well. Maybe they actually just fled the country because they were in such bad debt. That would kind of explain why there's so much stuff left behind in the house, why there's only very minimal things taken with them, and why they've left behind three cars. It also would explain to me why the actual house itself has fallen into such disrepair because nobody's been there in 20 years because they likely fled to a different country. The one place the house looks more ransacked, in my opinion, is the kitchen here. Looks like other explorers were going through trying to maybe find a story for the home. Um, not that it's super surprising. It is a very interesting house and everybody does want to know what happened here. Some big turds on the uh, stove there. Still again, K 
can't get in the basement. And I don't know if you remember last time up on the stairs here. This is the upper part of the stairs collapsing. So a lot of you had comments about this plane, this gas-powered plane. Um, so you take it on a string and you whip it around while the motor's running and it would, I guess, fly. That's what I got from your comments. Um, very interesting though. Extra 300. Nothing crazy to it. But cool nonetheless. And this one, a lot of you helped me out with. It was a, like an indoor rotisserie or like an indoor barbecue. So I have seen that a few times after I made that video. But at the time, first time I'd ever seen it. So everybody that gave some info on that, much appreciated. Does it say what kind of car it was? It has a license plate, um, which yeah. might be one of the ones outside, I can't remember. I think it's one of the ones outside, either the van or the, um, old, was it an Oldsmobile? Uh, I don't say what the cars are anymore because I did that <laughs> once and I got yelled at by everybody in the comments. So. It wasn't the Buick, it was the other one. So I think it's an Oldsmobile, but it looks like... They got busted for speeding. Eh, worst things you could get busted for, I guess. Yeah. That's interesting though. $133.75. That's a pretty big speeding ticket in 98. Yeah. For 90, whatever year you said. 97 it says. 97, that's a the, big speeding ticket. On the, well maybe I shouldn't say what road. That's okay. A big highway. <laughs> 401? 400. That's okay, I mean that could be anybody actually, going anywhere. It's, it's actually not this area. So that, I mean, really the kitchen hasn't changed. We just did a little bit more investigation work in here. Now, I don't know how smart it is to go up these stairs again, but I'm going to, I guess. Hate doing that. Don't know how many clues there are in this master bedroom about what happened. I gotta do my best guys to not step on anything so if the camera works not perfect in these upstairs rooms, I apologize, but just like last time, my safety is always gonna come first during these explorers. So yeah.
I'm assuming that's who owned the house. Kind of nuts that there's all of this in here. How'd you find coming up here? A little dicey. <laughs> I stuck to the edge and yep. prayed for the best. I still think this is the most insane thing that this wall is just like separated. Yeah, it's so crazy. So much. Remember that being a proper pain too. Very fancy. Maybe. Maybe the kids' bedroom. I ain't going much further than this, I don't think. Don't think it's worth it. All right, guys. That is the end of this explore. I do know I have my mask off, but uh, what do you think of this place now? Now we have some information a little bit. Uh, does that change your opinion on what might have happened here, or do you still think that you're right in what you think? We tried our best to find you guys some more info, but it's definitely hard in a place like this when there's nothing really online. There's not names, there's not obituaries. If I do end up finding something more, I'll put it at the starting of the video. You've already seen that though. But uh, thank you to everybody that's watched this video. Once again, this explore. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe. Drop a comment down below. What do you think of this place? And uh, I will see you guys in the next one.